Hey guys, Matt from Tucky Range Time, and following up on my last video, which really the focus was the difference in the velocities on the 18, 20, and 24 inch barrels that I've got, uh, Odenworks, Ballistic Advantage, and Faxon respectively. Um, and there was a lot of a lot of data in that stuff to crunch down. Uh, and like I said, if you got any questions from that one, let me know, and uh, I can run numbers or, or check SDs, whatever. Well, there's a lot in that chart, but if there's something missing, let me know. So today I'm back at Northeast, and I'm running this Faxon 24-inch barrel again. Um, I had a decent group in the last set uh, with a 108 grain ELD bullet from Hornady, uh, one of my hand loads. Uh, that load was in uh, twice fired brass. That was actually would have been the third firing on that brass, and it gets retired, ready for the annealer. Um, but I wanted to focus in on that that bullet weight. That's the weight that I'm wanting to run out of this rifle, uh, somewhere between that 103 through that 115 grain burger. And uh, so I, I elected to start with this 108 grain. I've done four ladders, uh, starting a little bit lower and working up a little bit hotter than what that previous load was. And this is fully processed brass. It's once fired, <clears throat> fully processed. Um, it's checked, the bullets have been weighed, they're within a 10th of a grain each. Uh, all the powder's been hand weighed on these instead of dumped through a powder dump. Uh, this really should pull these in and give me pretty good groups on this and give me an idea of what this gun can do with that 108 grain ELD bullet. <clears throat> so as we progress here, um, I've got four loads, five rounds each, and I'll be running them here at 100 yards, and I've got uh, one inch target dots down there. and. Uh, once we get done, we'll go down and label everything. Uh, I need to get back into my Ballistic X, Ballistic X account. Uh, I've got a new phone. For some reason, it's got me locked out of that. I've got to go back to the signing process. But uh, anyway, there you go. Get ready to run these. And the video coming up. Okay, so I did sight this rifle then. Uh, I actually rolled the Night Force scope over this, the Night Force SHV that was on my Odenworks barrel. I really hated taking that off there because it was dialed in right on the money and it's getting yeah, absolutely amazing results with that and the 103 grain ELDX. So what I want to do, this is a new cleaning cloth. I want to pull the barrel one time between each of these four groups and uh, we're kind of starting over at some medium of Consistency. I'll have a lot more powder fouling in one group than I will the other one. And uh, all right. So one of the things I do, I, I shoot with uh, earplugs instead of muffs, electronic muffs. I like those when I'm running a pistol, but I find that it makes it difficult to get down on the stock sometimes with muffs on. So I prefer the earplugs. Actually, when I'm shooting rifle, this is the first ladder. All right, guys, so it's been a couple of weeks now since I started this. I've actually been in the range twice, two different times, two different weekends, um, running test ladders with this 108 grain ELD bullet um, Hornady um, in my reloads. And this is all, was once fired brass. Uh, it's all been fully, fully worked, clean, uh, flash holes uniform, trim to length, everything's the same. Uh, I did switch to federal match grade primers on these. Um, thinking that may help help my SDs a little bit. And I also um, have been hand weighing all these loads. So I did four ladders the first day. I did, uh, I think I fired six more ladders the second day. I actually loaded nine, but I hit overpressure signs in my sixth ladder. 
uh, and as you'll notice in the pictures, uh, really from the very first weight up through max, uh, where I started showing pressure signs, um, my groups actually just kept opening up between the two targets. So uh, that was a tenth of a grain less than the 0.44 I got the other day when I was shooting uh, over the chronograph doing the three rifle nine bullet test. Uh, so I'm gonna go with a couple of ladders down from there and see if that gets even better. I'm not gonna go very far because I've only got like 120 foot per second velocity increase over the 18 inch barrel. And if I'm back down to the same velocities, I'm running out of the 18 inch barrel and getting good groups. There's no sense in packing a 24 inch barrel around. So that'll be coming up in the future, but take a look at these pictures and the final group there is at the end. And once again, Matt with Kentucky Range Time. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. And if you get a chance, shoot over to Instagram. Follow my page over there as well, uh, or Facebook. Uh, Instagram's really been uh, throttling back all the uh, my page from from being able to show up in searches, uh, from recommending my page and news feeds for any, even even people who have common interests. So, if you do get a chance and you have an Instagram account, account I would really appreciate it if you guys go over there and give me a follow on Instagram as well. Thanks, guys.